10 years ago? Sure. I was, I, I was, uh, I think I was acting 10 years ago. Um, <clears throat> you know, in t 10 years ago, in 2001, I did a t TV series called Wolf Lake, which was um, a show about wolves, like a people that change into wolves at night. So if somebody told me I was going to play a vampire, I don't think I would have been necessarily that shocked. I never watched Buffy, uh, but uh, I watched, I loved Anne Rice, and um, Anne Rice, uh, the, the author, and I loved the interview with the vampire and um, old, you know, Dracula, and I, 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 I enjoy the, the vampire lore and the mythology of it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I went to a couple different schools. The first school I went to was uh, like an all boys school and uh, it just wasn't for me. And it was very strict and you know, you had to have certain uniforms and um, I think I just didn't fit in with the, with the crowd, you know? And I, and I and so um, I, got, I got in trouble mainly with, with, with teachers. I just had, a, I think, um, I, you know what? I, if, if, I, I thought at the time that I was really justified in my behavior. I thought, you know, I was, I was okay. So who knows? From their perspective, maybe I was just a, a big pain. And maybe they were right. <laughs> 1960s in America, you're talking about. I don't know. I'll say I'll stick with um, just America. Um, I don't know in other in other eras, uh, Italian Renaissance or something, you know. But I mean, um, the 1960s in America were really interesting because um, I did a series a while ago, um, like I re did a recurring like 10 episodes on the show where I played a character from the 19. We all it all took place in the 1960s in Philadelphia, and it was a really interesting time because people were really starting to explore themselves, and it was. Um, a very like liberating time and people started questioning why things are going a certain way like segregation and women's rights and um, it, it, it was an interesting time for America um, and um, it would have been it would have been kind of I think fascinating to experience that you know I think in 2010 we're we have iPhones where we fly around the world and, 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 you know, watch TV and sit on the internet and it's just, it's a different era. It would have been nice to sort of explore that sort of time when that was just becoming sort of progressive and people were figuring things out, you know. In the flashbacks, we loved each other, you know, we, we were buddies, we were friends. Catherine drove us apart. Um, but I think there is a time when we were very close and I think that is eternal that we will always love each other no matter what there's people in your life family members whomever that you may not get along with and you loathe for certain reasons but at the end of the day they're your family he's my brother I saved his life I won't kill him at the end of the day and I don't think he'll kill me but we'll do everything possible to hurt each other and pretend that we, we hate each other but I do think there's a deep love um, I don't know if that's the origin, um, if it's quite possible, but I think more so than anything it's, um, it's symbolic of a specific type of person in society. It's the, the person that is shunned. I think it's like the creation of the vampire, it's become incredibly aesthetically pleasing and it's this like heroic character, but I think initially when it was conceived it was written by people as someone who is like kicked out of the town. like. Uh, like Johnny Depp in, in Edward Scissorhands living on the top of the mountain, you know, uh, nobody wants to talk to him, he's the weird guy. That was the vampire, they, they shunned him, he slept uh, during the day, he came out only at night. It was this creation that I think uh, is symbolic of some sort of an ostracized um, individual. Um, and it is pretty frightening. <laughs> and it is a good campfire story. <laughs> for good? They get together for good? Yeah. He has no... Because I don't think he'll ever stop. I don't think he'll stop 
get it trying to, I don't think he'll ever accept that because he lives for Elena. So if, if, if he finds out that uh, she wants nothing to do with him, I don't know, maybe he'd off himself. <laughs> maybe he would, uh, I, I think he'd fight till the end because he, he has nothing else really to live for except for, except for her.